make some mackerel. Somebody, I finally got a request on my video that's not about cornstarch. And somebody asked me if I could do um, Jamaican mackerel, so I'm gonna do exactly that. The reason I am um, doing the intro is because when I get home and I start de-stressing, de I'm just not gonna be showing my face, it's just gonna be my hands. So today we're gonna be doing mackerel. I'm basically gonna be making um, salt mackerel. Um, a lot of the times in the city that I live in, we cannot get the salted mackerel. We have to buy just the regular um, mackerel, the whole mackerel, and then either salt it or then season it up for it to make sense. So what I will be doing is I'm gonna buy three um, whole mackerels and they're gonna be unsalted and then I'm gonna go through the process of salting them. Right, so I have bought the mackerels. You'll see that I bought the small mackerels. These were the ones I could find. They're called chub mackerel, and I'm just going to clean them up. They've got the guts inside and everything, so I'm going to gut them and salt them. Right, so I cleaned the mackerel. I gutted them. Now they're cleaned. And so I'm going to add some salt. Now, normally we don't want to use iodized salt because you don't want it to just be sitting in there and causing bacteria and whatever. But I'm going to be putting it in the fridge and I'm only going to be pickling it for maybe a week and a half, maybe two weeks because I'm going to put an excessive amount of salt and then just um, let it sit. It's not going to cure for too long, but it will give it that um, salty flavor. I like to pour a lot of salt on this because at first I thought this was the way to go about it and I just really love the idea of like the fish sitting in the salt for like two weeks. Now some people try to do it that way and they still get a lot of um, curing of the meat. It dries it out quite a bit though so if you don't really want it to be dry now, if you have the space to put something like this on the um, open ear and let it dry like in the open ear hanging, then you'll get dried fish. Like it will, it won't be fully dry, but it will be a little dried and salted and stuff. So this is the way I started doing it. And I would wrap it in plastic and thus wait for it to brine or to be salted. Now these days though, I'm gonna show you another way that I find, um, you know, when I was doing some research, they said, put it in, in the brine, make a salt water brine and um, let it sit that way. So I'm going to be combining the two. I'm going to be dumping these into a plastic container with a, a salt water brine. Right, so to make the brine, I've warmed up some water, just a little bit, because I want the um, salt to dissolve in it. And I'm going to make sure that it cools down before I put the mackerel in, because again, we don't want botulism. So I poured the salt. Remember, it's better to use iodized, non-iodized salt or fermenting salt, but I don't have that right now. And plus I'm putting it in the fridge, so I'm not gonna leave it to sit, sit for a month, you know, three weeks. I'm just gonna leave it for a week and a half, maybe two weeks. So I'm gonna be pouring the salt and just mixing it until it dissolves. Whenever the, the salt stops dissolving, then that's when I'm gonna stop. sediments at the bottom now and then that is um, already salty. Now remember that I already salted the mackerel before because that was the way I did it originally. I thought that I could just slather the salt on there and it would penetrate into the fish and it would do if we could leave it long enough in a dry enough space. So but if you want to do something a little quicker or something a little safer, I would say put it into a brine and just let it sit in the fridge for two weeks tops. Because I'm not using the fermenting salt, I'm just going to do it faster. So once the water cools down, I'm going to stack the macro and I'm just going to cover it and stick it in the fridge. I'm going to put a date on there. I'll show you that when the water cools down. And that is pretty much it. And then I'll do the second part 
which is making the dish with the mackerel. All right, so the water's cool and I've put the mackerel in. And so normally what you would want to do is put a plate inside the water to hold the fish down, to anchor them down. But as you can see, my plates are not big enough. So what I've done is that I've filled a jar, and you'll see here, with water and I've put it in a plastic bag. And I'm just going to rest it on top and hope that all the fish meat will stay submerged that way. And then I'm just going to cover it. So it's just supposed to weigh the thing down. Yeah. And there we go. And now you're just going to label this, the date on there. And then it's going to sit in the fridge for two weeks. So what I'm showing you guys here is that this is two weeks after um, leaving the fish in the fridge. It's becoming a little translucent. All right, so it's finally three weeks later. I know I said I wasn't going to keep it for that long, but it's three weeks later. I'm making some green bananas. And I'm also going to be um, boiling the fish three different times. So I'm showing you how different the water looks when you just um, boil it. So I wanted to try to make a uh, randong but with less grease. So I used a light coconut milk. And um, as I'm showing you again, this is probably like the third boiling. This is, you know, you can see the, fr the actual structure of the fish just disintegrating. I also noticed that the fish had a little bit of a funk, almost like it was starting to spoil. So don't keep it for three weeks unless you have the right um, equipment and the right salt. For rundown, you need just like coconut milk and um, you want to just boil it down until you can just get the oils. Don't use light or low fat coconut milk because you end up having um, not enough fat and you have to add in fat. So as you see, I have um, included the ingredients for rundown. And what I'm doing here is cleaning up the fish. So basically I'm taking out all the bones and unsavory parts. And you know, you just have to take your time and just slowly um, pull the fish apart. If you like big chunks, mackerel doesn't have a lot of um, internal bones. So if you just kind of open up the uh, flakes, you can see where the bones are. Now I'm showing you that it comes with the head, it comes with the, the center bones and all this other stuff. And it's up to you what you want to keep. If you just want to keep the flesh, then that's up to you. I grew up, you know, enjoying the spine, the spine bone and just really enjoying the head because those parts really hold the salt and the seasonings. That's basically what um, I'm showing you here. And I'm also like cleaning up the fish, taking off all the, sometimes when you boil it, you'll see the little debris that comes on top. You want to take that out because it's going to end up, you know, kind of yucky in your pot. Here we've got the finished product. I've got the heads in one pile, the spines in one pile, and then there's the fresh just sitting there. And I've got some pimento or um, allspice seeds that I'm grinding. So once the mackerel has been boiled out to take some of the salt out and you've cleaned it up and taken the bones out, now we're going to add it into the vegetable medley. And um, you'll see there that it's um, just going to incorporate and you want to just simmer it for, you know, a few minutes. You want to add in your black pepper or in this case, the um, pimento. And I also added in some um, hot pepper. So at this point, I'm just trying off. <laughs> I just I have my hydroponic thing going on, making you know cut and carry lettuce, and I just wanted to show that. So this is the end result, and um, even though the the rundown was a little bit um, lackluster, it didn't have that creamy, really rich taste. It was so tasty, you know, the green banana is so good for me for the iron. I find whenever I'm uh, get, getting a little bit low in iron, I crave green banana and liver, 
and organ meat and that kind of stuff. So this is the end result. Um, I boiled the green bananas. I don't put salt in the water. I just put vinegar and I just I boil them in their skin to make sure that I can get as much iron from the thing as possible. I don't eat the skin as you can see. I just take them out of the skin and they just kind of just slide out. And I added in some broccoli, you know, more iron rich kind of foods. So that is the video for today. I hope that you guys are having a great fall. I hope that you are enjoying your, you know, whatever it is that you're doing and if you're not you're able to change it we are so privileged in that we can make changes when things aren't working for us and i'm so grateful for that um so that is pretty much the video leave me some comments let me know if you tried mackerel if you like it it's a really fatty fish it's a really tasty fish but it can be offensive by the smell of it can be offensive so if you find that it is extremely offensive you can always soak it in a lot of vinegar and stuff that i'm also gonna show you in the video all right so that is the video for today guys i hope that you are having a great day and as I always say, you know, be good, be balanced, be loved, but at the very least, be balanced and happy. Now, if you like the video, um, remember to like, subscribe, or share it with someone who wants to know how to cook or how to make certain Jamaican meals. Luxury breathing, but I don't think I'm living. Yeah, my mama be tripping, saying you acting different.